Good morning everyone, it's Kaiba on the Renegade. I'm back here with more Elden Ring, but I can only level up through co-op. Last time, it looks like we beat Radon. Uh, I actually haven't played this in almost four weeks now. Uh, I'm not sure if it's three or four. But yeah, I haven't played for a while. But I want to go open uh, the War Dead Catacombs over here, and then we're going to go do our co-op for today. Interesting. I don't know what he's getting ready to shoot at, but or a wolf, I guess. And that wolf is skipping for me. There you go, hosty. This is interesting, being here at uh, the Carrion Manor. <clears throat> so I got to play Demon Souls for the first time this week and that was really nice. Uh, I'm probably not going to play it again, at least not anytime soon. I might play it sometime in the future, but uh, I don't really see myself um, <clears throat> I don't really see myself trying to do PvP with it. I could. Oh, they're just going to the fucking bomb for Well, I said bonfire, but I meant... Well, they're not, actually. Yeah. Oh, the host died. Well, that's entirely not my fault. <clears throat> Me dying, that's my fault. Are you the same guy from before? Probably not, hey! actually. You don't really look like you're wearing the same stuff. Mr. Frost. Hey! <clears throat> Hopefully he's smart enough to just go for the boss. He's also two-handing his staff, so I'm a little concerned. Only doesn't know what a backstab is. Where are all these noob hosts when I was friggin' doing the bounty board the other day? I wish I knew when Elden Ring was going on sale, so I could know when there were new hosts in. My roll. That's on me. Well, I mean, I did, but I still got hit because I wasn't rolling with any time. Stomp me down there. 
Good job, hosty. You did your wizarding well. GG. Oh, Rayo Lucaria. Cool. Hello, sir. I'm here to assist you with the Rayo Lucaria. Hey. And possibly the Runala. Although, if you're summoning another phantom, that's probably a good thing for you. Hey! What's that sound? Oh. It's not a sound in the game. You have the wizard supply. Now get yourself the Radagon's icon. No, he doesn't, actually. Well, good, I just showed him something useful. Because he's a wizard, I see him holding a staff. Bam. Poor little jar boys. Yeah, another host that doesn't seem to know what he's doing. Like, he was kind of playing around with stuff, but at the same time...
you. You want that. Trust me. Oh, I guess he picked up some new armor, too. Because he's got the scholar's robes now. I guess we can't go that way. That's unfortunate. I'm surprised we can't go that way. Is it just because it would take us to a prior area from before the boss? See, that's kind of the fun of the level up through co-op playthrough, is it'll teach you things that you never really thought you would need to know about. Like, the boundaries of the level like that for what co-opers can do is actually super useful to invaders. Wait a second. Moongrim's not here. Interesting. So to start, we'll pull his elevator down, but then... Hey! Yeah, we'll bring him over here, because if he kills the pumpkin head, he can make it so that he doesn't have to fucking deal with the ball anymore. Well, actually, yes, there is a shortcut over there, too. We should get this. Because it'll make it easier for him to get back. There you go. <clears throat> but where you really want to go, homie, is over this way. Here you should open. Open the door. Don't die of the pumpkin head and we're good. Nice, he got him. Perfect. Good job, homie. Good job. You lived, and that's what matters. Oh, he got the pumpkin head and put it on. Nice. There we go, homie. And we're all good to take you back to Renala. See, isn't it nice to have a proper tour guide to show you where all the things are? Oh, 
now. He likes me and wants to be friends. out of range, damn it. I was gonna say, I saw the books play. I can count. Ah, uh, homie gave up the two cycle. We could have had that if he'd stay stayed and fought. I don't hear the singer. Wait, there he is. There. <laughs> Let's see if he plays the cutscene. Oh, he is playing the cutscene. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Where the fuck? Where is she? Oh my! Oh, the moon. Of course it's the moon. And the phone's ringing and I don't have time to answer because I'm in a boss fight and stuff. Is my dude just trying to let me fight her? Maybe he's observing me and trying to let me... Oh no, he's using his magic from the back. Okay, now I see. Ow, ow! No! Come back, Moon Lady. Oh, fuck. That hit me. Alright. She's locked on him now. No, don't knock on the giant. Ah, oh. kind of her. The giant's not bad, actually. You just have to stay away from him. Ah, no, no, no. oh, fucking wolves! I hate the wolves. Is 
If you could even just take the aggro of the Bloodhound for me, that would be huge. Yes! We did it! Good job, homie! Good job! You deserve that. Well done. I was a little worried, but you did the right thing and you stayed behind me. Which is what you needed to do. GG. Now that we're done with the wholesome Elden Ring hour, I'm going to go ahead and level up. And, uh, GG, Queezers, or however you say your name. I hope you enjoy uh, being in the video tomorrow. We had wholesome Elden Ring hour, now we've leveled up. We're going to go buy some upgrades real quick. Oh yeah, I can't warp out of here. We're going to go buy some upgrades real quick with the rest of this, and then we'll go do one PvE thing. Um, I'm not sure what exactly, though. Probably we'll have to go... Yeah, I actually do know what. We're, we're gonna, um, start making our way down towards Estelle. We're gonna need a ton of those. Alright. So let's head towards the still. Mm, what's the first boss on the way to a still? I think it's Mimic Tear, actually. Nice. They've actually got so much freaking ground to cover. I'm surprised. And we, I also thought we were like closer to level 60 in this playthrough, because like you get so much more souls, but um, yeah, no, we're actually much lower level than we are in, well I say much, we're lower level than we are in the level up through um, PvP playthrough. Which is kind of weird. I really expected it to be the other way around. I thought we were almost level 60 in this one. But nope. That's okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Demon Souls, guys. It was a very good game, and I really, really liked the story. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna answer this guy. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, so, yes, uh, Demon Souls, the story was so good, I might actually rip it off for my series a little bit. I've kind of had this, um, idea for it for a little while, 
and now that I've seen uh, the Demon Soul story, um, I feel very confident like it would work in the way that I have it. But uh, Demon Souls had something that I hadn't thought of for my story that I can't spoil here, and um, yeah, I I might just have to steal it. <laughs> Because it's basically like a huge main thing. It, um, so I, I think I've talked about Godly a little bit on the channel here and there uh, between uh, playthroughs and stuff. But uh, Godly is my book series about demigods in ancient Greece in a world where all pantheons of gods coexist. And basically the idea is that uh, you yourself are sitting around a campfire listening to the stories that Videl, the main character of the series, tells you. And, um, so there's seven main books and a bunch of side books that, um, aren't as important as the main ones by a lot. But the, uh, after the seventh main book, I want to write a choose-your-own-adventure book um, that will literally star you as the protagonist. You yourself. Not a character like why you. I'm talking about you, your physical self, however you decide you're going to be in the world of Godly. Um, so yeah, I, th I think that... Um, what I came up with for Demon's Soul story, which actually kind of rips straight from the main story of Demon's Soul itself, uh, could work really, really well in my series. Because I've kind of had this idea that, um... So Videl is this mage character, and she's a pure demigod, which is the child of two demigods. Um, and, uh... She has exemplary uh, affinity for magic, so she's basically one of the best mages to ever be born, right? Um, <clears throat> she's, she's basically like a natural talent for magery. Uh, <laughs> I flipped you first, Mimic. Uh, and the idea that I had a while back was for... Um, demons from the next life realm, because they're, uh, yeah, basically from the next life, are going to try and uh, sort of claim magic for themselves, because magic can be affected by a lot of things, from emotions to the environment to a lot of stuff, really. Um... And so the demons were going to basically try and force all magic to become demon magic. Uh, but now that I've seen the story of demon souls, where uh, the maiden in black, or whatever she's called, uh, basically takes uh, the power of soul arts and seals it away, which is soul magic, basically, I think I'm going to steal that idea. Um, of making it soul magic, because uh, where these beings, demons and stuff are coming from the next life, it just kind of makes a lot of sense to me that the uh, magic they would be able to wield other than just regular demon magic, which is a thing your race can affect the magic as well if you have a special race. Um, like, normal magic is basically mortal magic, but, like, if you're an animal race, like, if you're a fowling or if you're a uh, lizard man, then uh, wild magic is going to be more likely to be beneficial towards you because you're more attuned with nature than a regular person. <coughs> and there's also god magic and demon magic and all that stuff. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like... Making it about soul magic would be a really, really clever idea. And I'm not going to give away any more than that. Uh, which is kind of perfect, because this is a great spot for us to end the episode. But yeah, um, if you have any thoughts on that, let me know what you think. 
Uh, no offense, the story's already written up until uh, basically that point. <laughs> uh, that conflict is what I've been working on in the background for years now, is trying to figure out exactly how I want that all to kind of shake out so that it makes sense for all the characters involved because we've got the main characters of the godly series we've got um a bunch of antagonists from that series that are going to come back because uh the worlds of living and dead are going to collide in this tournament a anyway i'm not even gonna i'm not gonna say any more about it hopefully you guys think it's cool i think it's real cool Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye hey! If you'd like to support me with more than just a subscription on YouTube, you can do so by buying, reading, or listening to one of the audiobooks or the actual physical or ebook copy of one of my books in my book series, Godly, about demigods in ancient Greece in a world where all pantheons of gods coexist. I like to describe it as a combination of Dragon Ball, Harry Potter, and Avatar The Last Airbender in a world that's very based on mythology. So if you find yourself interested, there are links in the description, and you can watch and listen to the audiobook right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so very much for watching, hope you have a great day, Bye bye